In this box is a 7th generation Lenovo Flex 5i Chromebook. It's a 14-inch premium convertible Chromebook, and this particular SKU of the model line launched back in 2022, but globally the range has had 2023 and 2024 models. It's probably going to depend on when it was manufactured as to whether I see the Chromebook Plus branding on the lid, but it should receive the software update. Back in 2021, I looked at a fifth generation model of this Flex 5i when it had a 13.3 inch display in a 16x9 format. I'll link that video in the description of this one if you're interested to look back. This seventh generation has an Intel 12th gen Core i3 processor with 8 gig of low power DDR4 RAM, a 256 gig SSD for storage. It's fully convertible as mentioned and it should come with the optional USI pen. Hopefully I'll get to show you that later in the video. I purchased this at the weekend as a refurbished, very good condition Chromebook direct from Currys in the UK on their own website. I paid just £249, that's about 315 US dollars. As to be expected, being a refurb in this condition, it looks like I don't have the original box. I did post to X and Threads hinting at this one, and as of yesterday, I also posted to make you aware that this is available new as part of Curry's Black Friday sale for £350. I'll include the Curry's item number in the pinned comment on this video. With that all said, let's get into the unboxing and take a look at what we've got here. Okay, let's pop the box open and take a look at what we have. So as expected, we've got the Chromebook well wrapped in this middle section. I'm just gonna get that out of the way for now. Over on the right hand side here, we should have the 45 watt USB-C power adapter. And yep, here's my 45 watt USB-C power brick. And of course, I've got my UK plug to go with it. And now to get into the Chromebook itself. Okay, nicely wrapped up here, all very secure. Just slide this out. We've got the paperwork on top here that, as usual, I think nobody's going to read. We've got the Chromebook itself, and as expected, then, yep, yeah, no Chromebook Plus branding on the lid, but it is looking in nice condition. We've got that aluminium lid, and this one is in stone blue, but it also comes in a storm grey colour. The screen display, you can tell it's a taller 14 inch in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. The lid, as I mentioned, is aluminium. The rest of the build feels like it's plastic. The weight is feeling very reasonable. I'll flash up on screen what it's weighing in at. Having a quick look at the port. So on the left hand side, we've got a power charge LED indicator. Then we've got the first of two USB-C ports. It's 3.2 Gen 2. Then we've got a full-size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port. There's a headphone microphone combo jack, and we've got the micro SD card reader on this one as well. Moving over to the right-hand side, starting from the left, we've got the power button with a built-in LED. We've got a physical volume rocker. We've got that second USB-C port, and then we've got a Kensington Nano slot if you need to lock this one down. And for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it's Wi-Fi 6E and it's Bluetooth 5.3. Just to show you guys underneath, so the main thing to look for, of course, we've got the grill for the processor there, and we've got the two support stands running the full length of the front and the back on the long edges, always good to see. And you've got some ventilation for the fan. I think it's on the right hand side in this one for the actual fan and then a bit more ventilation on the left hand side there on the rear of the Chromebook as well. I did also check the manufacture date just a second ago and this one was made in June this year 2024 so I'm not quite sure why it didn't get the Chromebook Plus branding on the lid but no issue really and nice to know that it's a modern Chromebook that's not been about too long. Hopefully the battery cycle is going to be low. We'll see that once I get into it for now. Let's open it up and take a look at the keyboard deck. So of course, with it being fully convertible, I can put the screen all the way back against it as if we'd be using it in tablet mode. But just to show you guys the keyboard deck itself. So we've got a really well laid out keyboard deck, nice spaced keys. We've got a well sized touchpad and we've got the speakers either side of the keyboard deck firing up at us. So all looking good there. Keys. Nice and quiet, fairly shallow to medium travel on them. Can give you guys an impression of that. 
Obviously, if you are interested in the full review of this, do subscribe and check that notification bell to get notified when I upload. Touchpad, as I say, really decent size, not loose. It's got a nice click to it, very smooth. So yeah, all looking good there. And as I say, good to see those speakers up either side of the keyboard deck. The keyboard itself is backlit. I'll just overlay some footage. I'm probably going to find somewhere a little bit darker to film that to show you guys. I'm going to start to set the Chromebook up now. We'll take a look at the battery health and cycles and I'll take you through the full spec of this display and the Chromebook. Okay, so I've just jumped into guest mode before the Chromebook updates to take a look at a few things. So we'll just click down by the clock on the settings cog and we'll go to about Chrome OS on the left side. So we can see we're running version 128 of Chrome OS. We're up to version 130 now, so just a couple of releases on from this. So I expect that just got updated when it's been checked over before Curry's have sold it. So we can click to check for updates and get that all up to date. Also, if we come down to diagnostics here and click into there. Okay, so we can see the battery's had two cycles and it's got 99% battery health. So really pleased with that. It looks like this has hardly been used at all. Sometimes you'll see that battery health actually correct to 100%. So yeah, looking really good there. If we close this and then pop back into additional details here, we can see on the update schedule, I'll just zoom in, we're going to get updates through to June 2032. So yeah, a nice long update life ahead of this one as expected. And then I think the only other thing to show you guys is if I search for display and then go to display size, we can see we're not running this at the full resolution currently. So it's 1536 by 960, but we can bump it all the way up. Actually, let's go down a notch to the native display. That's what I want. 1920 by 1200. Okay, so just while it finishes installing my apps, I'll take you through a recap of the specs and the options in this model line. So it's either a 12th gen Core i3 or i5 processor. There is also an Intel Pentium Gold, but I'd avoid that. Either way, it means Chrome OS updates until June 2032, as we've seen. For graphics, I've got the Intel UHD graphics, but with the Core i5, you can get the higher spec integrated Iris Xe graphics. I've got 8 gig of RAM, but there's also some 4 gig models. Obviously, those won't be Chromebook Plus. And I've got a 256 gig SSD. There's also a 512 gig option. And if you see a lower option for 128 gig or 64 gig, then it's eMMC. And of course, there's no way that 64 gig option will qualify for Chromebook Plus. With this model and any of the others that qualify for it, you're also getting all the Chromebook Plus software updates, extra camera controls, AI features like Help Me Read, and also Help Me Write. Checking out the 14 inch touch display. So yeah, it's obviously working well for touch, looking really good. The optional USI stylus that I mentioned obviously doesn't look like I've got that, but if you scan through the spec for this particular model line, it does list it. So potentially with the new ones, you'll be getting that. I expect maybe as this is a refurb, I haven't got it, but do look into that to be sure if that's a deal breaker for you. I'd feel a bit more confident if I'd actually seen it with this one. Okay, jumping in as I edit the video and I see what's happened about the pen situation now. So the model SKU that I ordered is this one here that was on the listing for the refurb ending 9UK. This is also the same SKU that is on the Curry's page for ordering the brand new one. And you'll see that that obviously shows us that, yeah, the pen is included, which is why I've been a little bit confused not to get it. I checked the bottom of the actual Chromebook I've received and you can see where this is going. The actual SKU on the bottom ends PUK, it's this one. And this one of course says, nope, you've got to buy the pen separately. So that makes a lot more sense. I think it's a mix up in the listing. The only other difference is this very slightly different spec in the PCIe for the uh, SSD. I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, in terms of if you are going to order from Curry's as to which one you'd get, I'd imagine or would just suggest you assume you're going to get the one ending PUK and not have the pen 
and if you do get it you can be pleasantly surprised. Going through the rest of the screen spec, so as I mentioned it's a 14 inch Full HD Plus, so it's WUXGA, meaning it's got that 1920 by 1200 resolution that I've shown you. It's IPS, it's the taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio, it's a claimed 300 nits of brightness, it is looking pretty bright, and it's got this more glossy finish to it. Colour-wise, this covers 45% of the NTSC colour space, so colours look great. There is an option that covers 100% of the sRGB spectrum, so look out for that. And as I say, it's compatible with a pen. At the top of the screen, we've also got the Full HD webcam. That's another requirement of Chromebook Plus, and it's got the privacy slider. I'm just getting set up with Real Racing 3 so I can show you a bit of gaming, hopefully in tablet mode. One thing I have noticed, when the Chromebook's working hard, when it's getting the apps installed, etc., the fan obviously is going to kick in and it seems fairly loud when it's really going for it. But we'll see how that is in everyday use when I publish my full review. It's certainly not a deal breaker, it's just a little bit louder than some other Chromebooks that I've tested on the channel. Okay, it's looking pretty good with Real Racing 3 here. Do give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, it really means a lot. You can leave a comment too, of course, let me know what you'd like to see in the full review. And in the meantime, there's another Chromebook video from the channel on screen for you now to watch next. Cheers.